Hello, my name is Mark. I'm here at the Crystal Box Office Theater in uh, Crystal, Michigan. My brother Drew is behind the camera. Uh, thank you for tuning in. I, uh, we, well, you've heard a lot about the Black Adam, Shazam, Ant-Man Wasp, all losing money. They get a lot of bad press, which got us thinking, how many other movies are in that same boat? So I went through since Black Adam, which was October, till now, March, and I gathered up all the information and I did the industry map. And if you want, if you're like a math person, like the numbers, I'll have more details below. Uh, but let's skip that part because of that gets kind of boring. Uh, I got the winners and losers here based off of box office revenues, not on who acted or directed or anything like that. Just, just the numbers, just the profit. So let's go ahead and get into this real quick. I Heard the Bells, which is a Christmas movie, came out in December, uh, cost $3 million to make, it lost $1.5 million. Violet Night, uh, took $20 million to make it, $10 million to market it, turned an $8 million profit. Devotion, uh, it's a war movie, lost $124 million. Black Panther, made a profit of $24.5 million. Bones and All, lost Hundred and twelve point five million. Halloween Ends is a profitable movie, made two point five million. Smile, which was took twenty five million dollars to make it and market it, but it turned an eighty three dollar profit. That's definitely a winner. Eighty three million. Is that what I said? Eighty three million. You yes. said eighty three dollars. Eighty three million. Yeah, eighty three million dollars. Uh, Strange World, which is now on uh, Disney Plus, which Disney Plus is losing billions. Uh, Strange Plus lost $188 million. She said, which is a story that should be told, uh, cost $48 million and it lost $41 million. The Minion lost $5.5 million. Don't Worry Darling lost $9 million. The Lion King, uh, sorry, The Woman King lost $26.5 million. Lyle Wow Crocodile. Uh, this was our first uh, indication that there might be something going on something wrong with the industry as we compare this movie to the big red dog which did well for us uh wild wild talked out pretty much the same as comparable it didn't do the same for us it didn't do well uh it was a disappointment but overall uh according to the studios and their math lost 23 million dollars uh the movie with george clooney and julia roberts a ticket to paradise lost six million dollars which could be off a little bit, that might be around the break even point. Uh, Black Adam lost $119 million. Uh, Jesus Revolution has now just gotten into the profit mode. Uh, I got it down for $1 million profit, but it's still in theaters. Uh, Cocaine Bear, it is uh, at a loss of $9.5 million. It's still in the theaters. It could break even. It just needs 19 more people to buy a ticket. 19, how many? 19, 19, 19 million more people. Yeah, ten dollars a piece. I'm oh, sorry, you're right. Nine million people. You know, about nineteen million. Yes, because they get half. Screw oh, Ant Man lost sixty-seven point five million dollar loss. Mike, the mag magic Mike, thirty-nine point five million dollar loss. Eighty for Brady, twenty-two point five million dollar loss. Knock on the cabin. Uh, it's streaming now. I don't know how that works out with the money. But uh, at, at the time we did this, uh, it had lost $3 million. Missing, which is a low-budget movie, we showed it here, it did pretty good. Uh, it is cost $10.5 million to make it and market it, and it turned a $12 million profit, so they're a little bit better than doubling their money on that movie. House Party lost $13.5 million. Plane lost $11.5 million. Megan, this is a good, luck, good news story. Took $18 million to make and market the movie. Uh, it had made a $69.5 million profit. So $18 million investment, $69 profit, and it's streaming now. So check that out. Uh, Babylon, uh, disaster of a movie. Uh, it's streaming, so you can catch it if you want to, but it lost $85.5 million. Whitney Houston, I Want to Dance with Someone, lost $39 million. Puss and Boots, uh, which is still in the theaters, it's been in the top 10 up until last week, uh, came out around December, around Christmas movie, so it's been doing pretty well, 
that show it as a $40 million profit. And Avatar, which is showing some good numbers from overseas, is at a profit of $777 million. Now, those aren't exact numbers. Uh, those are rounded off using industry math. Uh, but there you go. You've got the profitable ones and the uh, lost ones, losers. Uh, a lot of losers here. Uh, I think the studios need to adjust. Obviously, the theaters here were more vulnerable. We need to make some adjustments. Uh, but the industry is changing. Some of these movies should have done better. Uh, I'll let you decide what, what the problem is. So let us know your comments below. Please subscribe if you like this type of stuff. And we'll talk to you later.